Good morning, Great Mission and School, and welcome to My Assembly Today. My Assembly Today is on one of our school values, and that school value is respect. It's a very, very important value. But before we get into our assembly, I thought we'd have a little bit of a fun thing. Um, we can't do a sing song properly, so instead, why not do a little dance together? I've got a little bit of just dance for us. I don't care where you are, what you're doing, stop it right now, and let's have a good old fashioned boogie woogie. Here comes a dance from Just Dance to I like to move it, move it. We like to move it. Bum, 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 bum. Enjoy. sweaty now. Um, today we're going to talk about respect and words and how important your words are. What we say matters. We can't undo what we've said. So I want to think really carefully about something. What do your words say about you? What do you think people would say about you and how you speak to other people? Would someone say you are respectful? Would they say you are kind? Would people say you are nice? Just close your eyes for a second and be really honest with yourself. Are the words you're saying to people as nice as they possibly could be? Are you being respectful to everybody all the time? Now let's think again. Think about the last friend you spoke to, someone this morning perhaps. Did you show them kindness? How did you make them feel good? How did you make them feel valued? What do your words say about you? We all think we're good people, okay? We all think we are really lovely, but actually, are you being kind all the time? Are you showing people how much you care with your words? Are you being respectful of them? Hmm, I really hope you are. Think about the last teacher you spoke to. That's very important. Did you show the teacher or the LSA respect? How? Now, if we were in an assembly right now in the hall, I'd probably ask you a few questions. How can you show respect to people? And you would say to me, Mr. Tang, you can show respect by listening to people, by being polite, by saying please, by saying thank you, by being considerate of them. This is how we show respect. With our words, how we show respect is to ask them nice questions, to speak pleasantly, to listen. Were you kind? Were you helpful? I always love it when someone says to me, Mr. Tang, how can I help? Is there something I can do to help you? Because I think, yes, yes, there is. I'm very stressed. As a teacher, if a child says to you in the class, can I help at all? That honestly goes such a long way. When I was a class teacher and a child said to me after a lesson, thank you, Mr. Tang, for that lesson. I really enjoyed that. It honestly, it made my heart really, really full. Uh, and it took two seconds for that person to say that one thing, but it made me feel so, 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 so good. So again, think about what do your words, what do they say about you? 
And this next thing's important. I put in there why, think about the last non-friend you spoke to. A non-friend is perhaps someone uh, that you know, an acquaintance, if you will, but you're not good friends with them. Do, are you kind to them? Do you listen? Do you treat them nice and fairly? How are you using your words with people that aren't your best friends? Sometimes when I speak to people in the playground, they go, but that person is not my friend. Well, I say, even so, you must be kind and nice and respectful to all people, even if they aren't your best friend. Or if you say, well, that person was mean to me two years ago. OK, but still, you should still be kind to them. Still listen, still show respect. I'm going to read a story to you I've read before, but even so, it bears repeating. It's a really important story that applies to all people, young and old. And this story is called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? It's a, day to it's a guide to daily happiness for kids, also grown-ups as well. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. Can you see their buckets? I know, I know they're meant to be invisible, but for the sake of demonstration, you can see them here. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Every, ma every member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends and neighbours all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. You feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people may feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket, and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket, and other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? You can fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make other people feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. But mm, you can also dip into another bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. Oh, no. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things to make other people feel bad. Can you see? I'm going to pause the story here and look for a second. Can you see the bully? The bully is taking from that boy's bucket. That's not very nice. And the boy is feeling really sad. But look at the bully's bucket. The bully isn't happy either. You're not going to feel happy if you are taking somebody else's things from their bucket. Oh, no. Many bucket dippers have an empty bucket. They think that they can fill their own bucket by dipping into somebody else's, but that will never work. You can never fill your bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you actually fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help other people feel good. It's powerful. You feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mum and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. 
here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. He's got a bucket. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. Oh, that's lovely. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. Look how happy he is. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. Doesn't matter how young or old you are. Doesn't cost any money. Doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So, why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I am going to do something to fill someone else's bucket today. But pause the story here. By the way, you're gonna have to make yourself do this, okay? You won't always come naturally. Sometimes stop and go, you know what? Have I been nice today? Have I been filling people's buckets? Because if you go on autopilot, it might not always happen. You have to go and think to yourself, I'm going to do it today. I am going to fill someone's bucket today. At the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Hmm. Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. The end. I love this story, guys. I've told it two or three times at this school. I love it. I think it's so powerful. And I think adults can get this as well. I, I personally get a lot out of the stories. I think, am I being a good bucket filler? Am I helping people? Or am I taking from their buckets? Am I being someone that's nasty sometimes? Am I making jokes at the expense of others? Because when I do that, I, I might fill my bucket for a little bit, but not very much. And I'm taking from their bucket. That's not very nice. Am I mean to people? Do I shout at people? Do I lose my temper? If I'm doing that, I'm taking from their bucket and I'm making them very sad. Think about it. We are a bucket filling school. You fill buckets, no dipping. Not today, sir. So if we were together in an assembly hall, I would say, why should we fill someone else's bucket? Have a think. I'm hoping you would say, because when you fill their bucket, they feel really good and happy but you also make yourself feel good as well being nice to people feels nice what are some things you can do or say to fill someone's bucket and if we were here together in a hall i'd probably get the whiteboard out and make a list uh, but i'll tell you right now what are some things you can do say thank you say please say how are you show someone you care be considerate be polite um ask questions and don't be afraid to take the time to actually go oh i'm sorry can you explain that some more or how was your weekend and find out more about people people really appreciate that if you take the time to ask them questions and have a chat with them uh, you can say thank you for this or you are a really good friend i really value our friendship whenever i see you you make me really really happy and saying those things by the way is free and it takes two seconds but it makes such a big difference let's try i am now going to go around the school and try and fill some teachers buckets and i'm going to see how it makes me feel good luck mr tang thank you mr tang three two one go so my first person i'm going to fill their bucket is going to be miss dale miss dale the, the whole thing about filling someone's bucket is that being really nice and kind and uh, with your words and filling somebody else's bucket. So I just want to say, you are a really kind and lovely person. Whenever I see you, you make me so happy and make me smile every time I see you. You are wonderful and we all love you very much. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tang. That's really, really very kind. Yeah, That's yeah. such a lovely thing yeah. to say. Yeah. Uh, now on to my second uh, bucket. Mr. Austin, I'm now going to attempt to fill your bucket. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sat down? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Go for it. Uh, I just want to say, I think you're a really lovely friend. And whenever I see you, we have a great laugh together. And it genuinely fills my heart with joy seeing you. You're a great guy, Mr. Austin. 
Wow, my bucket is overflowing. Thank you very much, Mr. Tang. Well, love you, nice. Mr. Watson. Uh, goodbye. The last bucket I fill today is Mrs. Lee's. Uh, Mrs. Lee, I just want to fill your bucket by saying the following things. You are such an incredible teacher, and what you've done over this period on Zoom, teaching so many children at once, has been incredible. Uh, thank you so much from all of us. You're a wonderful teacher, and whenever I see you, I always feel really, really happy. You make me smile. You're so positive, and I love it. So thank you, Mrs. Lee. Thank you so much. My bucket is so full, it's overflowing. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Mrs. Lee. Love you lots. Whoa. Oh, just came back from filling all those buckets. So, uh, I've got to say, guys, I actually got a lot out of that. I spoke to uh, Miss Dale, uh, Mr. Austin, and Mrs. Lee, and I felt so good saying lovely things to them because I wasn't making that up. The stuff I said, I actually really, really meant, and it made me feel really good to say it. There's not always a good time to say to someone that you really value their friendship or you think the world of them. There's not always a good time because it doesn't organically come up. But actually, sometimes it's nice just to go, you know what? I really, I think you're fantastic. You know, there's, it, that's such a lovely thing to do and it takes no time at all. Uh, we don't always think about doing it, but I think we should. I think we should. I really enjoyed speaking to Mrs. Lee, Mr. Austin and Mr. Dale. I made it feel really, really good. And I'm going to do that more and more today. I hope you will as well. Uh, before we go today, what would you do if you saw this happening at school? These guys here are taking, look what they're doing. They're taking from that girl's bucket and they're laughing. Hmm. May I point one thing out? Their buckets are empty and they're actually deep down very sad. If we were together in the hall, I would ask you, what would you do? I am hoping you would help this girl on the right. And you would stand up for her and you would tell the teachers about those two girls and say they weren't being very nice. They were bucket dipping. And if you felt comfortable and confident, you could say to those two girls, don't do that. That wasn't very nice. You might not know you were being mean, but you were being mean and you made her very sad. Don't do that. What would our school be like if we all tried to be bucket fillers every day? Well, I think it'd be a magical place. And I think, you know what, guys, knowing our school, we're almost there. We're a really happy school for really happy people. And I do think we're very kind to each other, but this kind of assembly helps us remind ourselves that we've got to keep going. It does take effort. Keep being kind, fill some buckets and look after each other. Uh, if we were together, I'd say, who fills your bucket? And I think, and you might say your teachers, your parents, your friends, your grandparents, your neighbours. Everyone in your life can fill your bucket. Even if it's someone uh, at the shop, for example, you're buying some apples and they say, how are you doing? And you say, oh, good, thanks. How are you? Oh, great, thanks. Have a nice day. Very small interaction. That makes me feel really good. Nice little chat. Um, so my question to you today, and my challenge is to fill a bucket, be nice to people, and they'll be nice to you. And also that's part of being respectful. If you're nice to someone, they'll be nice to you. If you give respect, you will get respect. And that's how it works, okay? And being nice and being considerate is all part of our value of respect. We should respect each other, respect the teachers, your friends, the LSAs, everyone you encounter, everyone deserves respect, but also respect ourselves as well. Lovely, I've got a lovely song to end on today. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing it. It's one I found from YouTube. So I'll put this on the end of the video. Uh, be respectful, fill some buckets and have a lovely weekend, guys. I will see you very soon. A week and a half, we're all back together. Can't wait to see you guys. You are the best. Goodbye. <laughs>
as if she likes someone's clothes. Alyssa can help. She